You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have another face from Brockton Area Workforce Investment Board, otherwise known affectionately as Baywood. <laughs> I have Jason Hunter. Jason, welcome. Mark, thank you for having me. Nice to see you. You're the Associate Director Associate over there. Associate Director, yes. Uh, working for Sheila. Yes, Sheila Sullivan John, I'm our Executive okay. Director. And uh, you're over at on School Street, mm -hmm. right across from City Hall. 34 School Street, a beautiful area. You own the building. We just pur re recently purchased the building about a year and a half ago. And it's the old, for those of you like me that have been around forever. I forget it was the Plymouth bank. Home National Bank. Plymouth Home National, okay. thank you very much. There's a Rockland Trust branch sitting over there. Actually um, located in our first floor. Right. Right, right in our atrium area. Right over in the corner. And yep. what else is at the building these days? Right now we, uh, we operate the Career Center, mm -hmm. the one-stop Career Center run by UMass Donahue Institute. Um, they run all of our uh, programming in, in terms of the Career Center. We also have Father Bills and Main, String, uh, Main Spring excuse me, yeah. that is housed on the first floor as well. They have a few offices. Mm -hmm. As well as, like we said, Rockland Trust. Yeah. Uh, downstairs on our lower level, we have our Youth Works program, mm -hmm. which is the one-stop career center for youth, which is operated by BayWeb. Right. So we do all the oversight for them. Uh, we are located on the upper mezzanine floor, where a lot of our administrative work goes on. We also have some healthcare labs up there where we do a lot of our training. Um, so that, that makes up the bulk of our building. We do have a few open spaces that we will be looking to rent uh, shortly, looking at some pricing structures, how to figure all that out. But um, in the coming months, we'll have a layout of exactly what we have to offer, what kind of office space we have, uh, and some if people meeting rooms as well. So if people want to take advantage of that, it's certainly something we'll be looking at doing very shortly. Well, I've been in and out of that building so many <laughs> times over the years between Youth Works and uh, there were other programs in there before. The Board of Health was there at one point from the city yep. when the city was renovating their space. Yeah, a lot it's of a nice out. big solid building. That it's building a, solid as a rock and the vaults are all still in there the too. The vaults are all, they're not going anywhere unless no. you know somebody with a very heavy crane. No, no, no. Same with this building. This building, yes, when beautiful. they went to uh, sell this building back in 94 when we bought it, uh, they, they had auction tags from the FDIC on oh, the wow. vaults, only you couldn't get them out. If this building <laughs> burned down tomorrow, the vaults would still be there. You wow. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, you, you mentioned uh, <coughs> like labs and health areas. Yes. You folks have a fairly new certified nursing program. We have a, a, a new certified nursing program that will be beginning up in February. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the official start date is February 27th. Okay. Um, I'm not sure the amount of students, but you can call Lorraine Albert or Ray Yancey at okay. our offices. And phone number? 508-584-3234. 3234. That number stayed the same. Yeah, I it think did. that's been the, the number since day one over. There. Uh, I've been there for six years and it's been the same. So okay. I've never owned, I've never known another number. Okay, so the, the difference between a nur certified nursing program like yours and some of the others is it's nonprofit. We it's are a nonprofit government organization. Backed, yep. Okay, and you don't go to one of those schools where they charge you literally an arm and two legs. No to pay for it, nope. okay? CNAs are lifeblood for nursing homes, for hospitals. The My baseline. dad's in a senior care facility. Those people are angels, as far as I'm concerned. But proper training is really, really important. Absolutely, they okay. are the nuts and bolts of any types of, any of those organizations, they're the people that do the dirty work on a daily basis, but they have to be trained, and that's what we're here to do. Okay, so tell us about, um, kind of overview different programs. We've had different people on from Baywood. You, you, you mentioned Youth Works. We had we had Ray over here recently talking okay, about Ray that. Okay, Ray was in. Yeah. Okay, so um, you know, associate director. That means sure. you get your finger in every pie. Yeah, we do a little bit of everything. Uh, I, I should say I do a little bit of, a bit of everything. Um, we we uh, the purpose of the WIB is to bring collaborations together with employers the businesses, the job seekers, as well as run our one-stop career center. So we, we look at any industry that Brockton thrives at, which is mostly in healthcare, manufacturing, retail, uh, and, and we just try to put together trainings that the businesses need. It's demand-driven by the businesses. We have a business and industry committee that meets once a month that tells us where we should be heading, what trainings we should be looking at. So out of that came the CNAs. Uh, we're currently offering a CDL right now. Mm -hmm. um, we will be looking for another four to five seats in that class. It's run out of Parker Professional, which is right over in Avon. Mm -hmm. I believe they do most of the practical driving right there at the fairgrounds here in Brockton. Yeah. Um, we were, we're also looking at Brockton Public Schools came to us 
they have a lot of substitute teacher positions that they'd like to move into the paraprofessional mm -hmm. position. They have, I, I don't remember the number, but it was quite a few uh, positions they're looking to improve. So we're looking to t uh, develop a, a test prep with Massasoit. We'll wear off of that right in the building to be able to get some of those people to that next level. Um, in the coming months, we'll be doing machine operating, which is in the manufacturing field. Uh, we have plenty of those businesses in and around our service delivery area, the Brockton and the nine surrounding towns. Um, so machine operating will be big. Uh, we're also looking at a welding program because mm -hmm. that's been an area need. Uh, that'll be coming up uh, hopefully sometime in the summer. We're looking at developing that curriculum soon. Um, so that that's the the few that we're working on right that's, now. That's the I know gamut. it's a lot, but no, 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 that's good. Um, like you said, one stop. It, okay, it's, it's a one stop shop. Now, Brockton's a diverse community. There's a lot Very. of people that speak other languages: uh, Cape Verdean Creole, Haitian Creole. Yep. I know. Uh, back a few years ago, we did some recordings over there where there were people that are there that help people that speak other languages in the job search, different things like that. Absolutely. What's going on in, in that case? Because we know that the Adult Learning Center that Brockton Public yep. Schools operates has a waiting list. There's so, just so many people in Brockton yes, that need, very to, tough. need to, to, to break that language barrier. So what happens over at your place? So we have a very, uh, the One Stop Career Center, operated out of the first floor, has a very diverse multicultural staff. Uh, so they have the ability to really work with any one of those languages and really uh, converse with anyone. So that's really the base of what they can do there. We have the Adult Learning Center come in and they do run uh, English for Work classes. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm not sure the dates on that, but they do that quite frequently with us as well. But I bet everything I want to know is on your website, right? You could check www.baywib.org. Okay. B-A-W-I-B.org, -W yes. Okay. Um, um, we have a whole list of adult basic ed programs. And also, I know uh, because uh, one of our own staff, Jay Miller, has God. served on I've boards known Jay before. for many years. Yeah. There is volunteer opportunities to work with Bayweb, right? Yes. Um, you have different boards and different committees. You mentioned one of the committees. We have four committees. Uh, we have uh, a, a, a large board. That is all, we're always looking for new members. Any employers that or any community partners that are looking to engage can always call me at that number and just ask for me and we can fit them into some sort of role or advisory role or just they can bend our ear and see how they can help. Well, we're glad you're there to help and thank you for coming on today. Uh, uh, thank you very say much. Say hi to my friends over there. And, I uh, will. We'll, uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna find a way to grab a camera and follow you around for a day. I, I told that? Sheila before I left the office today, my goal is to get you guys over to tour the building. We've done a lot of work, a lot of improvements, a lot of renovations. We've added some rooms. We've added some equipment. I'd love to have you guys over to take a tour and video the whole thing. Well, we will do that. Mark, thank you very welcome, much. Mark, welcome to Greater Brockton. Thank you very much. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.